Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix high disk usage by rdrcef.exe. So this is going to be typically applicable to if you're running the Adobe Acrobat Reader application. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first things first, make sure Adobe Acrobat Reader is closed out of. And now you want to go open up your file explorer. So if you have a file explorer icon down in your task for or you can go through the start menu and search for it. Then you want to go over and left click on this PC on the left side. Go underneath whatever your local disk is here. So most people it's going to be the C drive, but it could be something different. And then you want to navigate over to program files. Double click on that. And then you want to do it for Adobe. Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And now you want to do it for reader and then you want to look for something that says acro cef right here double click on it so there should be two executables in here it should be r d r c e f dot exe and r d f services updater dot exe so here they both are now you want to rename both of them so right click on the first one rename now you want to do a little underscore so do like the little line at the bottom next to the zero key so not the minus sign but like if you hold the shift and the minus sign at the same time and then you want to do old at the end dot exe and then you want to enter and you want to do the same thing for the other servers as well so make sure you do it for both and then you want to enter now I would recommend you guys restart Adobe Acrobat Reader after you have them both appearing as I show right now here Restart Adobe Acrobat Reader in order for it to recreate the two files. And then I would also go ahead and update Adobe Acrobat Reader by going up to the top help tab and then left clicking on the check for updates button. If there are any updates it should download them automatically. And if you're still having problems, you can go ahead and go into Programs and Features and actually uninstall it, and then I would suggest reinstalling Adobe Reader. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.